What is up you beautiful people in this video i'm going to share with you how i generate hundreds of leads using this tool called as d7 lead finder then i'll give you a complete overview of my lead filtration process and basically how i filter out the right leads and how we verify these leads and then how we give it to the client so that they can start their cold outreach processes so without any further ado let's go ahead and take a look at our screen right so this is where it, how it looks like so the tool that i use is called d7leadfinder.com uh, so if i were to show you its plans uh, there are multiple plans starting from 1900 rupees to 8000 rupees i'm in the starter plan itself uh, for some clients who need very in-depth data we use we just upgrade to professional uh, to be honest you don't always need this if you are just at starter and you are reaching out just works fine I'll just log in and yeah, I'm logged in now and give you an example. So this uh, client, he want, he's serving doctors in uh, Maharashtra mostly and all over the India, but uh, I recommended him to start with Maharashtra to begin with. So what I did is like I started from this Google search, which says uh, top. So here we went ahead and searched for top uh, cities in Maharashtra. So we had Mumbai, Nagpur. I already generated uh, leads of Mumbai, Nagpur, Thane, Pune, uh, all of those. Uh, Nashik I didn't. So I can just go ahead and search some leads from Nashik. So here you just search for the keyword doctor, doctors, and in the city search for Nashik, Nashik Maharashtra and click on get leads. Now this takes about uh, three to four minutes to go ahead and generate leads for you and gives, gives you a data sheet of all the leads that you have generated. Uh, once it gets done, in the meantime, since I've generated a lot of data, let me go ahead and put all those data in a Google sheet and like start uh, filtering out, right? So let's take a look. And there we go. So we got all the data. And by the way, don't worry about this. These are all publicly listed data. They don't uh, hack into anything. So many people shared this a concern with me ki, hey, what if they are hacking so 490 entries so but not every entry has a data so that's that the limitation so i will download a csv and and i'll open this up okay so what i will do is uh, these things are all pro plans so i'll just delete these uh, address we we don't need so i'll just uh, delete columns okay so facebook messenger i see double kick so now we see that there are some phone numbers here there are some emails all right so first thing i will again email host i'll delete this one we got website url there is linkedin profile there is linkedin profile of the clinic uh, this messenger also there is no point deleting all right uh, twitter i don't think we'll be needing twitter but let's just delete this instagram facebook should be more than enough now first thing uh, next thing what i will do is just put a filter on every single column out there right so here we go so i'll remove the blanks and rest i'll keep okay here i'll put one more filter where i remove the blanks remove this ones rest of the numbers i will keep oops so this gives me uh, about i don't know how many 247 leads with uh, emails and telephones verified to be honest uh, i can clear this and oops uh, select all not clear to be honest i can use this itself so there are some 526 data points here right of emails but again i'll have to go ahead and uh, you know check which emails i can use and which i can't because this is see contact us at apollospectra.com so apollo is a big hospital anyways plus uh, this is not gonna be so they would ideally need um the contact details of the doctor itself like for example near regularity this makes sense right we can find them up 
uh, we can find them on LinkedIn and we can start reaching out. Curtis Goyle, see, just contact us, uh, ask. These are the kind of data we'll need to remove. I mean, we can keep them, but we can like filter out. Uh, so, home you care, home, gmail, gmail.com, so you can keep, not a problem. These are insurance companies, is it? So, definitely a red flag. Filter out. So, this is a time consuming process. So, my job is to go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, start filtering out this email IDs. But I see a lot of the email IDs uh, valid, which is okay. Now, this is for Mumbai and I'll replicate the same thing for Nagpur as well. So, of course, the accuracy is a little bit lower here as compared to some other tools like Apollo. But this does get the job done and it does generate a lot of leads and it does increase our chances of reaching out to people, right? So I'll just repeat the same process I did with Mumbai. I know it will take a lot of time. So there is no point like doing all of this right now. It will like extend the video a lot. So just understand that I will just mark them as red. Then I'll put a filter and I'll put a filter color white. So this way I'll only have the whitish uh, part and if I want to clear I'll just put none it, it just comes back as simple as that so I'll re repeat the same thing for Nagpur now for the sake of this video so that it doesn't become longer I'll just download one of the sheets now that we have a basic filter on here and uh, what we'll do is we'll upload it on never bounce to see their bounce rates and never bounce it helps you verify the email IDs that you are working with so if you we have about 206 emails here so it costs about one dollar so it's like pretty cheap right so i'll just sign in to my account so what this tool does it i, I don't know the back end of this but what this tool does is it uh, verifies the list and gives us the data of which are the email ids that we can actually reach out to and the emails will not bounce you see when email bounces it also reduces the reputation of the uh, email id that you are uh, using to uh, sell right or start outreaching and if the reputation goes down most of our emails start landing in promotions or spam and we don't want to do that we want to hit the inbox of our target customer so yeah let's go ahead and uh, have a look so here just click on add list i will go ahead and uh, download you know upload the list here drag and drop and it just creates the job I have here now if I go ahead and clean my list as you see the credit balance is zero so I'll just go ahead and purchase this it costs me a dollar now we have just added all the sheets it is uh, processing it's testing and validating all the emails that we have here right now it takes about like a minute max all right now our job is completed so let's look at the stats here so we uploaded about uh, 206 email IDs and out of which there were only 151 valid, which is good. 73% was accurate, rest all were not that accurate. So now we'll just go ahead and click on download here and we'll only download the deliverable ones. So there is no point uh, finding the rest ones, bad syntax, invalids, right? Because our best uh, bet would be to send the email to this valid email IDs. Valid email IDs means all these email IDs are like validated and the bounce rate will be like really low in this one. Now this, I can upload this on something like Apollo and I'll go ahead and log in. And if I go to search, uh, I, if I go to sequences, let's, I can create a new sequence. So this is like a default sequence that uh, Apollo has. So I'll simply add contacts and I'll upload the CSV here. So select go to downloads valids and upload it so here we have account name telephone number uh first phone and contact email account website or let me see if i have linkedin no okay anyway so there's that i'll just simply import so now see Apollo also has a valid validation feature. So it can go ahead and search whether they're valid or not. If I go to sequences now, now I can go ahead and click on this email, write my email here. And I can write my email here to see if, uh, you know, to start the sequence. 
And the moment I press this icon on, the automation starts and calls start going or like the emails start going to these leads. So that is my entire process of generating leads from let's say D7 lead finder to uploading on Apollo and starting a sequence. Of course, like a high level overview, if I go in detail of how to do these things and it'll probably become like <laughs> an hour long video. I want to I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Uh, we do teach all of this in our flagship training, which is Alpha Club coaching program for agency owners. So if you are interested in like, you know, having me generate this kind of leads for you and crafting your cold email sequence, starting your outreach messages and getting you some uh, clients that you can uh, start working with in the next one to two months, then go ahead and click the link below. I have shared the link of Alpha Club and join the waitlist of Alpha Club and we'll get back to you soon. Thank you very much.